Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be taking a look at not one, but two new releases from Too Faced Cosmetics. The new Turn Up The Light Highlighting Palette and the new Natural Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. So if you wanna see my thoughts on these two products, sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so now that we're zoomed in a little bit closer on my face, obviously my eyes aren't done and I don't have a highlighter on because we are gonna dive into the Turn Up The Light palette. So I have this in the shade Medium and it is gorgeous. I've been playing with this for a minute now. And so this middle shade here is a soft focus setting powder. So I would liken this to Hourglass. Not quite as finely milled, but I feel I'm getting a very similar look on the skin. So I've actually used this to set most of my face today and I feel like it gives me a pretty like healthy glow to the skin. It's definitely not glittery. It doesn't make my pores emphasized. It doesn't emphasize any texture around my face. So I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm gonna demonstrate the glow and the dazzle highlight shades on the skin right now. So I'm going to grab a highlighting brush. Ooh, I'm not sure, probably. This little guy, this is a JH09. This is a Morphe highlighting brush. It's part of the Jaclyn Hill collection. And so I'm gonna dive into that shade Glow. Tap a little off of my brush. And just pop that on here. So I feel like, oh, it's such a pretty color. So I feel like when I first put it on the face, I'm like, okay, it's nice. She's pretty, she's subtle. But once you go in, this is a lot like those Hourglass highlighters. Oh, once you build it up a little bit, bam, you're getting that real glow to the skin. I am just obsessed. I find it looks, of the two, the glow shade looks a little more wet, whereas the dazzle shade really has that glitter. So I'll actually demonstrate that now. So I'm going to take that dazzle shade right on top, and this is like that glittery topper. Bam. And this really amps it up. This is for someone who definitely wants to stand out a little bit. Ooh, these are so, so, so pretty. I'm just obsessed. I'm gonna knock this all over my nose really fast. A little bit on this cheek, just pile this on like crazy. This is, I've actually not been a huge fan of Too Faced highlighters in the past. So I'm actually really excited that they've come out with a formula that's actually been really, really impressing me. Take that dazzle shade, bam, Oh, Yeah, that dazzle, it just adds a little extra something to the glow. So I love, love, love this. Like I said, I have the shade medium, but it actually comes in four shades, light, medium, tan, and deep. So there's one for every skin tone. So we will be right back to check out the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so now we are back and we are very zoomed in on my face, uncomfortably close. Hello, how are ya? And we are gonna dive right into the Natural Nudes palette. Okay, so let's open this up, take a little peek. Hello! As you can see, I've been playing with this for a minute. It is gorgeous. I love, love, love this palette, but I'm actually gonna force myself to play with a color combination I haven't yet. So I'm gonna dive in first with the shade Maple over here. Take that right in my crease, very excited. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M456 brush. It's that small, slightly tapered blending brush I love to start with. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of that shade, tap that off, tap any excess off, and I'm gonna start to blend that into my crease. Oh wow, these, the color payoff is super intense, beautiful on these mattes. And this color has this like delicious warmth to it that is, ooh, just so good. I'm really loving this shade. All of the shades are based off of shades in their Born This Way foundation. So I think that's really creative actually. I think it's kind of fun, fun spin on a nudes palette. Ooh, yes. Okay, so now that I've got that in the crease, I'm actually just gonna take a little bit of that product off on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go in, ooh, I'm thinking, probably gonna deepen up that crease a little bit. So I'm probably gonna take the shade Cocoa up here. And I'm gonna take that, take a, just a touch of that. And I'm gonna tilt my head back just a touch, make sure I'm gonna tilt that back. And I'm just gonna kind of tuck that in. 
and deepen up that crease just a touch. Okay, that's really, really pretty. I'm gonna lift up a little bit on my eye there. Blend that out a little more. I'm gonna tap into maple one more time. Really fluff those together, get a really nice set. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. I'm not going anywhere crazy. Okay, that is so, so pretty. So I'm gonna be right back. We are gonna deepen up the outer corner and play with some of these metallics. Okay, so now we need to deepen up the crease of the eye here. So I'm gonna take a MAC 217, and I'm actually gonna take that on the deepest shade in here. I believe it's Truffle, yes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my brush. Oh, she's pigmented. Look at that, a lot. So I'm just going to tap this really lightly on this outer corner here and just really, ooh yeah. Really just try to keep that out here. I don't want this to run away from me. And I'll probably take the other two shades and blend it into this to make, them look, to make this look even softer. But I really want the depth this eye look like oh this is giving it to me so pretty okay I'm gonna tap a little bit more of that color on and notice how I say tap I don't want to blend it too much I just want to pack that and saturate that color down here at the base a little more but I'm not worried about getting too close to my lash line because I'll put liner over the top of that Okay, I'm really, really happy with how that's deepened up. I'm actually gonna take that other brush, my other brush from before, and tap into maple. And just make sure those really blend on that edge, make sure they're nice and soft. Mm, yes. Okay, I'm really, really loving how this is looking. Okay, so. Diving back into the palette here. I have been really back and forth on what I'm gonna use. I gotta peek around. Okay, yeah, no, I'm actually gonna go into Golden Light, the shade right above Maple. It's the only shimmer I think I haven't used yet. And playing with all of these based on a brush versus my Spinger, my Spingers. <sighs> wow, word of the day, Spingers, everybody. Uh, so a brush versus my fingers. A finger works a lot better for these shadows. So I'm gonna take Golden Light on my finger just a little bit, because woo! Pigment, hi, the shade is stunning. And so I'm just gonna pop that right on the lid. Oh my gosh. Okay, wow. This is like, oh, okay, I got a lot there. I'm definitely gonna have to buff out that edge. I'm gonna take that 217 brush with what's left on it. Just fluff that over this edge here and make sure that's blended. Wow, that shimmer. That is like foils. That is so intense, like right out the gate. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, with getting it on there, this kind of inspired me to blow it out a little more. I'm gonna take a larger fluffy brush. This is an It Cosmetics brush that I've had for eons, so I have no idea what it's called and the name is rub rubbed off. So I'm gonna take a little bit of maple, touch of cocoa, just a touchy touch. And I'm actually gonna fluff this, blow this up a little higher. This is really pretty, and I'm just obsessed with this warm look that's happened. And I want to play it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So then I'm gonna take that 217 brush again, tap into Truffle, and just slightly bring that up just a touch. Not a lot, because like I said, it'll run away from you pretty quickly. Take a little bit of that up into there since we've blown it up a little higher. Take it up with it. Take that brush one more time and softly blend that edge. Ooh, I am loving this. Okay, I'm gonna throw on a liner, a lash, finish the other eye, and then I will be right back with the final look. Okay, we are back with the final look, and my final thoughts on both of these palettes are a big thumbs up from me. First off, the Too Faced Turn Up the Light palette is stunning. This soft focus setting powder has kept my makeup in place while still giving me a beautiful, healthy glow to my skin. So I love that, especially cause I'm dry. And these two highlighters are 
gorgeous. Just wet, glowing skin and a palette, everybody. 42 bucks, exclusive to Ulta. Plus it comes in four shades, love this. And the new Neutrals palette, I don't know, I, I can't say enough about this. I've worn this five, six times now and each time felt equally stunning. They're blendable, they're pigmented. I love this new packaging, this new formula. Too Faced is really stepping up the game with this one and I can't say enough. $45, also exclusive to Ulta, so definitely get your hands on this. But that brings us to the end of the video. If you wanna see more content like this and you like what you saw today, don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, hit that notification bell, and thank you so much for watching. I love y'all.